speaking of the Milwaukee Bucks, as Adrian Wojnarowski joins us here on set, that we know that Giannis Attentacumpo, it's not looking like he is going to be playing in this game one for the Bucks. When might he be back against the Indiana Pacers? No, that's right, Malika. Giannis Attentacumpo is out for game one, and he may very well miss more games in this series before that left calf will allow him to return. And you remember that left leg, you know, he had an ham a hamstring issue. Um, he's had Achilles tendonitis in that left leg. And so there have been other issues there. They're certainly being very cautious with it. You know, he has not progressed yet where he is out on the court. He is doing a lot of running. Mm. There's still a ramp up for Giannis. Milwaukee knows and they're preparing for the fact that they're going to have to win games without Giannis with the hope of getting him back perhaps sometime deep into this series if indeed it goes long deep into this series the Pacers they've had the Bucks number this season Stephen A they've won one four of their last five meetings can the Bucks win the series without Giannis they can but they won't I don't believe they will um, I'm definitely picking the Pacers to win this series unless Giannis is back and by the way I'm not sure I would have picked Milwaukee to beat the Pacers in this series even if Giannis was there simply because of Milwaukee's inability to neutralize the Indiana Pacers offensively. They seem no matter what we see from the Indiana Pacers <clears throat> against everybody else, they seem to elevate their level of play and efficiency against the Milwaukee Bucks. They've had their way with them this season and so because of that, I'm like without Giannis, it's just that much more daunting. Well, they got two things going on here. They've got the Pacers as an opponent quite capable of beating them with Giannis. Stephen A., I agree with you. And they've got themselves. They never figured this out. I mean, this struggle going on and being basically 500 even after firing Adrian Griffin and bringing in Doc Rivers, they still hadn't. Every time, every week, we sat here and thought, okay, they've got to figure it out defensively now. All they need to do is have Dame fit in offensively in a two-man game with Giannis. Oh, wait. Now the offense needs major addressing. So it's been one thing, then the other, just with the Bucks, And now they're confronted by a Pacers team, which, let's face it, has also, after playing, like, nothing resembling defense for months, the Pacers with Rick Carlisle have moved into a much better place defensively, improved, not great, but the Bucks have their hands full on a lot of levels. Well, it's two things. Number one, I believe that Damian Lillard is going to be the best player in this series. Number two, the Milwaukee Bucks, they have home court advantage. We had four games that we covered last night, and all the home teams won those four games. Home court is a real thing because we know that role players play better at home. Sure. I'm looking at Bobby Portis. As a starter, he's 20 points, nine rebounds as a starter. Brooke Lopez, the experience, we know what he brings on both sides of the table. Mm -hmm. I have faith in money making Middleton. With them having home court and Damian Lillard, and we know what he could do in those Dame time moments, I'm going with the Milwaukee Bucks. Indiana beat Milwaukee four or five times in the regular season. None of those games included Pascal Siakam, who they got ahead of the trade deadline from That's Toronto. Right. Championship player who will have more playoff experience for this Pacers team than anybody else on the roster. I believe, I believe in Dame. I believe in Dame, no doubt about it. But the problem is, I believe in Dame offensively. Mm. What they gonna do defensively against Indiana? That's the story of this series.